Yeah, nigga, what's up? <laughs> Listen, I'm doing I'm doing my podcast, and somebody want to give you their flowers, and I just asked this engineer, young guru who does all Jay Z shit. You know who that is? <laughs> I just asked him what is his favorite go to album when he wants to tune a room or whatever. Tell him what you just said. First of all, man, I appreciate you. All blessings to the Yo, God, what's man. Up? What's up with it? How you doing? I'm uh, great, man. I'm great. He asked me what what I used to tune a room. I said 2001, and he was asking me why. I said because oh, stop playing, nigga. Nah, what really? I'm, of course. I said, I said, everybody had that low end, but I said, Dre put that clarity, and more important, he put that depth into the music, man. So I, I got to praise you and thank you for doing that for me, man. That's my go-to. Oh, man. Yo, man, I appreciate it, man, and I appreciate your work, too, man. I look up to you as well, man. Wow. Shit, that's an so, honor. Yeah, but that, that particular record, man, I, I'm, yeah, I was, I was really going bass heavy with it, with the, like, trying to keep the mids and the tops right and the whole shit, but still trying to make sure it sounded like some gritty shit you know so and the way you got the vocals balance, sitting man to, you know what it is trying to get that balance yeah you know? yeah the way you got the vocals sitting and, I, and I, I always tell everybody all the time not only you got all keyboard beats is what you did with the samples on there too like the samples the way the samples sit with what you lay it on top of it that's like that's just that's just the bread and butter of what i try to do <laughs> yeah i appreciate it man it's like a lot of times at least back then um, I was mixing the vocals a little bit too loud because it's a little trick that you learn along the way. Once you get into mastering, if you want to add bass to your shit, the vocals comes down. The mm. vocals come down. So I would always mix my vocals or anybody that I'm working with. I would mix the vocals just a little bit loud. That way you could add bass and the vocals would still sit on top of it comfortably. You know? I'm taking that gem. So I'm that taking was that like gem. a little trick that I learned along the way. <laughs> wow. Man, I appreciate yeah, yeah. you, man. Whew. Yo, he had. I had to. I had to call you Dre because I, I was in yeah. my sound. I was in my sound nerd thing. I'm like, this is an easy call. Hey Dre, we, whenever you want to stop by to the FAQ podcast, we, we waiting for you, brother. Just anytime. Oh, okay. Anytime. Yeah. Yo, Dre, I just do this. Yeah. I do a small thing podcast now called FAQ. So yeah, anytime. We anytime. waiting on you. Okay. Yeah, I got work to do right now. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, for guys, it's a uh, you know, I, little, little little game going on. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that next Sunday, a week from today, man. And, yeah. then, um, and then I'm gonna put my feet up, or you know, for just for a minute and get back at it. Yeah, you got a birthday to celebrate too okay. coming up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Congrats on the yeah. Super Bowl too, OG man. That that yo for real. That's a that's a Thank incredible you, look. Yeah, that's uh yeah. We we're about to kill it. I'm really excited about that shit, man. Yes, and, sir. Um, yeah, and it's crazy that the Super Bowl is Sunday and. My birthday is the Friday right after that, so it's going to be a fun-filled week of debauchery. Bro, man. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, bud. Yes, sir. All right, Dre, I'll get at you later, my brother. Love you, bro. Right. Love you too, bro. All right, in a minute, peace. Yo, so anyway.